I decided to develop our new textiles line because I really wanted something that reflected our aesthetic and I also wanted to create something that we could make in collaboration with all of the artists that we've built relationships with. As an interior design firm, it was not my original intention to start our own textiles line. But when we were sourcing for clients and looking for bold and unexpected patterns, we found that we kept going back to the same two over and over again. We didn't want to be limited, so I decided it was time to make our own. I'm really fortunate that I didn't have to make it entirely by myself because I could rely on the artists that I've come to know and trust so that I could use their original artwork and turn it into repeating patterns. One of the artists that we work with is Jeff Gerber, and Jeff is a multimedia artist, and a few of our favorite pieces from him were his line drawings and charcoal sketches. I took his original art pieces, I cropped them, and then I mirrored them to create the new repeating patterns for the fabric and wallpaper. We first met Maya Kerner when she came into our office unannounced. She stopped by when she was walking by. She was actually making floral arrangements at the time. And as an interior design firm, she wanted us to know about her work. And of course, one of my team members found out that she was doing art and saw her true potential. And from there, we began a relationship. And we've placed many of her pieces into homes and I've hosted Art Walk for her. And it feels really cool that now we're also working on this textile line together. I took several of her paintings as well as a photograph of one of her sculptures and I turned it into a repeating pattern for fabric and wallpaper. Dana Mooney was one of the first artists that I did a collaboration with. I was looking for an art piece that was five foot wide by 11 foot tall and Dana sent me an email telling me about her artwork and it was perfect for this project. Since then, I've worked with her on several different commissions for several different projects, and it feels really special that I've been able to build a friendship, an ongoing relationship with her, and now I get to have her artwork in our new textiles line. We also just started working with Joey Bates. Joey Bates has been an artist that I've admired for over a decade. I love Joey's work because of the level of detail and I am so excited that I'm able to carry that through in our wallpaper and fabric. Kat Puma at my office helped us to find Jennifer Gauthier on Instagram and since then we've commissioned probably eight pieces from her, and so I was really excited when Jennifer decided to partner with us. Jennifer's artwork was the inspiration and design for my first, and so far my favorite, area rug. I have it currently in my own home. It's so beautiful. I love how her artwork translated through the hand-knotted wool and silk, and it really is a statement piece and also cozy. Corey's work can range from stormy and dramatic to airy and ethereal. It's that contrast that makes it so perfect for our new wallpaper and fabric. Kevin and Kitri made a super cool pattern that I fell in love with years ago and I've been dying to get my hands on it. They finally agreed to let me use it for the new wallpaper and textiles line and I think it's gonna bring a fun, unexpected vibe to the whole collection. Our newest line was made in collaboration by a really good friend of mine, Noelle Fountain. Um, we actually went to Tulum together for vacation. And while we were there, she drew inspiration from the trip and made a whole art series based on our trip together. And now we have a whole line based on that trip as well. My favorite patterns from this new collection are seaweed, cenote, black sand, and the palms pattern. I feel like the new textiles line really reflects our drive to really blaze our own trail and go for the unexpected. If you wanna see more, check out our new collections at michelledirksey.com.